Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing Lagrange interpolating polynomial. So Lagrange interpolating polynomial is just the modification of Newton's polynomial. So I also created a video, a separate video of the Newton's polynomial. So I hope you can check that one. Um, and Again, Lagrange interpolating polynomial is just the modification of Newton's polynomial because um, if you try to solve the Newton's polynomial versus the Lagrange interpolating polynomial, they will have uh, the same outcome. It's just that Lagrange interpolating polynomial um, is a, a, a computation, an interpolating computation without, the com without computing the divided differences in which Newton's polynomial is computing for the divided differences. So for this, for this one, we have the formula, the, the Lagrange interpolating polynomial formula follows the equation f sub n of x is the summation of our L sub i of x multiplied by f of x i, in which L i of x here can be solved using this formula. So the, the pi-like sign here is what we call the product of x minus xj all over xi minus xj. So in order for us to solve the Lagrange interpolating polynomial, we have here the formula for the first order version and the second order version. So this formulas, the two formulas here, uh, will be we will use this one in solving for the first and the second order version of our Lagrange interpolating polynomial. So, for example, we have here, uh, I use the same example, the use, uh, I use the same problem with the one I've used from my Newton's polynomial video. So, let's check if they have the same result or they have the same answer. Use Lagrange interpolating polynomial of the first and second order to estimate Logarithm of 10 using the data points at x is equal to 8, 9, and 11 if the function is f of x is equivalent to log of x. So from that, given our data points here, the x is equal to 8, 9, and 11, we need to find, uh, we need to substitute that one to our um, datas. We need to substitute that as our x sub 0 x sub 1 and our x sub 2. So we have here x sub 0 is equivalent to 8 in which if you substitute that to our function we have f of x sub 0 is equivalent to log of 8 which is also equivalent to 0 0.90309. And the same goes with x sub 1. We have our x sub 1 is equivalent to 9. And if you substitute that in our equation, that is equivalent to log of 9 is equivalent to 0 0.954243 and the same with our x sub 2 which is equivalent to 11 1 0.04193 and that being said we already have this one now we need to solve for the first and the second order to estimate our log 10 so first we'll need to solve for the first order so from this one, we'll uh, need to solve for the first order. So as we know, the first order formula is this one. We need to follow this formula for the first order. So plugging in the, the values that we have, we have f of 1 
f of 1 here stands for the first order. And 10 here, as we know, x. And from our function, our x is equivalent to 10. So that's why we will be having our x as equivalent to 10. So that being said, uh, let's just substitute all the values that we have. x is again 10. So we have 10 minus x sub 1, which is 9, all over our x sub 0, which is 8, minus our x sub 1, which is 9. <coughs> and multiplying that to our f of x sub 0, so that is this one. So we have 0 0.90309 plus our x, which is 10 minus 8 all over our 9 minus 8 multiplied by our f of x sub 1, which is this one. So we have 0 0.9542. Four, three. So if you calculate this one, this is equivalent to 1.005396. So we now have the result of our first order version or first order estimate of our um, equation and then we'll move on to the second order estimate or second order version of our Lagrange interpolating polynomials. So as we know, the second order is given by this formula. So we'll just follow or we just substitute the values that we have into this formula. So that being said, our x again is still the 10. So I mean to say we have our second version or second order version that is equivalent to x, which is 10, minus x sub 1, which is 9, multiplied by 10 minus 11, which is our x sub 2, and all over 8 minus 9, multiplied by 8 minus 11, multiplied by our f of x sub 0, which is equivalent to 0 0.90309, and added by 10 minus 8, multiplied by 10 minus 11, all over, we have 9 minus 8, and 9 minus 11 multiplied by our f of x sub 1 which is this one we have 0 0.954243 added again with the last term of our equation for our second order formula so we have 10 minus 8 multiplied by 10 minus 11 all over 11 minus, I'm sorry, this should be 9. And that is 11 minus 8 and 11 minus 9. And multiplied by our f of x sub 2, which is 1. Point zero four one three nine three. So if you calculate that the result of this one is equivalent to one point zero 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 three four four. So if you check the the previous video for the Newton's polynomial, we have also checked the second order or second divided difference of that one of the same problem and we also got the same answer exactly the same answer which is 1.000344 so this is now the result of our 
Lagrange interpolating polynomial solution, or this is what we got for our answer. So I hope you understand how we solve for the Lagrange interpolating polynomial, and I'll see you on my next videos.